Trunk or treat? Think of it as a seasonal tailgate party that celebrates Halloween instead of sporting events and offers candy instead of barbecue. Now the idea is to decorate the trunk of your car for Halloween. <laughs> Now there's the way most normal people do it, and then there's us. Welcome to Rose Manor. There is indeed. That's unbelievable. So how did I turn the trunk of my car into a haunted house? Well, let's slip back to about a week ago. As I think you could see, this was an elaborate project. Uh, the first thing I did was hit up Home Depot for the lumber I'd need to build the balcony, staircase, and walk-through interior of the manor. Then, it was over to Lowe's for the cardboard I'd need to make the manor walls. <laughs> Now, in the past, they were able to give me full refrigerator boxes. This time, not quite as much, but still, it was plenty to get the project done. Yes, what I'm actually building here is a haunted house, or at least it'll be a haunted house when I'm done with it. Um, this all fits around the trunk. This is our trunk or treat event that we do every single year for Kensington Church. Uh, we have some dazzling costumes this time. And Rose Manor is, of course, what I'm building right now. Then, I mean, this is one of the panels. It'll be the side of the house. But sitting right inside the trunk will be the hovering ghost from last year. So, really, this should be an incredibly good time, I'm thinking, uh, if everything comes off the way it should. And I see no reason why it shouldn't, actually. Uh, my designs so far for Trunk or Treat have been incredibly fabulous. This year's haunted house shouldn't be any different. It's just a little, you know, it, just like always, thinking the logistics and how this stuff is going to work is always difficult. But other than that, it should come together quite well, I'm thinking. Second panel. Well, now, as we watch horror movies on this Friday night, Rose is putting some of the final details painting the haunted house we built just the other day. Look. This is the roof section that we have here. What do you think? It's going to be pretty in a creepy way. <laughs> And she's already painted the sides of the haunted house gray, which is only the beginning until they're detailed.
ready to be packed. And there's Lady Greymulk. Mm. And we are just about to have a morning repast of the most appropriate food of all. Booberry. Booberry. That's right. Reserve space for us. <laughs> and there's Grady. Lady Greymulk about to pull the stuff out of the trunk. Oh goodness, that uh, that gabled roof does look good up there, doesn't it? All right, well, let's get everything unpacked and underway. But the yeah. All right. So here it is, all together, and it isn't just for looks either. The walkthrough is interactive. Hidden beneath the mats is a footpad that may, or may not, activate the house's resident ghost. <laughs> the kids not like that. Oh, they'll love it. No. Yes, they will. No, no. Think they'll be scared. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see about that. As Rose and I, oh, pardon me, Lord and Lady Greymalk, welcome our visitors for a tour of Rose Manor. The haunt proved so successful and popular that even the adults wanted to take a tour of the house and see if they too could wake the ghost.
Grace woke him up and um, like That's right. She brings drinking blood. <laughs> she might be. You never know with Lady Graymo. My lady, would you care to tour? But don't wake up the ghost. Wake up the ghost. Did you woke the ghost? It figures that he woke for Lady Grandmark. Obviously, the ghost knows which side of the bowl the blueberry pours from. Get out, please! Ah. Milady? Candy for the little urchin. Say thank you. <laughs> nice. All right, well, the bird's talking too. He's your bird. He's a real bird. He is a real bird. People were telling me that he was not a real bird. Can you believe that? How could he not be a real bird? He's talking. I don't know. He is talking. Several people woke the ghost. Yes. And paid the price. But others didn't and had some candy. It was very successful. Should we send the ghost after the disco man? I strongly agree with that yes. idea. Mr. Disco needs to die. <laughs> uh, we'll find a place to bury him. Uh, yes, sure. Yeah, I'm There's still sure. a spot There's available. The family graveyard is there, of yeah, course. Yes. There's space. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> finally quiet. Another successful haunt, my dear. It was very successful. Very successful. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it's a damn sign. It's a shame that they don't do the contest anymore. We could rack up another win and it wouldn't bother me in the least. <laughs> <laughs>